I'm Young Bands, and we're about to paint some songs off my new project, Misunderstood. Let's go. I'm gonna start off by telling y'all why it's called Misunderstood. The project is called Misunderstood because I'm just a misunderstood person, and I know a lot of y'all probably are. So, I'm about, to, um, I'm about to paint, I'm about to paint that shit. Let's go. Got to mix the green. Wait. I'm gonna start off using like the paint because you gotta paint a picture, paint pictures. Um, green with the yellow so we can get like the light green off the cover. The jacket I was wearing. Mix it together and see what happens. Right. What color should I add to this? Make it a little more lighter. And, um, misunderstood. Okay. That's an M, and I made it the same color as the jacket I was wearing. It's hard. Infamous and stood. Let's go. All right. The next song I'm gonna be painting is Prada Zombie, and I'm about to basically visualize this for y'all in the best way possible. Bear with me though. I had the song. The song came about like I was in the studio one day, and. I just left from shooting my documentary. So I went in the studio. I was like, I go hard as fuck. Whatever song I made, I just went hard as fuck. So I spazzed and like, like, I was just playing my flows. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, as hard as I can go on that beat. The beat was just so hard. And I had Prada Zombie made on the project. I'm gonna get artistic. Brrr. Slap, slap him a little hairdo. No. He got a little hairdo. Brr. Yeah. I mean, really, the song just explained itself. Like, like some some days that's just me. I'm just all designer. You know, I don't really like to go in detail about drugs and stuff, but you feel me? That is just what we own. We just live in life. Proud of zombie. Gotta get his nose right down it. Like. <laughs> you drip out. So next we draw a hold up. I'm about to give y'all a visual representation of what I what I think about when I think about hold up. Try to buy a gunner. Like this. A little raindrop. Hmm. Damn. Come on, bro. I ain't drew or drawn like forever. Got the raindrop, by a gunner, gotta put the black glasses on him. The Cartier. It just, it, it's made like, that's his swag. That is something really like fit, gunner, and slime. So this is a song I picked on a project like that, I needed them on. That, I think it's gonna sound the best for them. Um, he he a raindrop. He ain't gotta have no nose. He gonna, he gonna drop. Uh huh. Gonna drop slime. He gonna be a snake. Damn, bro. This is more challenging than I thought. Snake. You know, so I'm a legend. You know he's gonna he gonna spare. I give him some little designs on the back. When Weezy sent me that beat, I was in the studio. It was probably like three, four in the morning. So when when I made that song, I was just like, I'm gonna go crazy on this beat. See, sometimes it's like a song, and I get a beat, and it's like, oh, this beat is like beautiful. Like, I gotta make a beautiful like piece, like masterpiece on this song. And then sometimes I get a beat and it's just hard as fuck. And I just gotta go spaz, spaz on this beat. You know what I'm saying? I gotta say some like freaky shit like like that nobody said like a way that nobody said on this beat. I gotta draw me. I gotta draw a goat. A baby goat. <laughs> Damn, bro, I can't draw. Waves, big waves. And then when I think a hold up, I just think like a, like a bitch, like a groupie, shit like coming up, and I just like hold up. 
That's what I think. So y'all draw a little goofy bitch. You wanna know some fun fact? I never could draw. Even like in school, like like middle school and stuff, I used to draw like exactly like this. Never got good at it. That's why I always thought like people who can like draw and do art is like super talented. They gotta be so talented to do that. The next song I'm gonna do is Ready, Set, Go with um, me, X, and Greedo. And I'm about to show y'all what I think about it. I think Ready, Set, Go. Like, okay. So Ready, Set, Go. That's what I think of when I think of that song. So basically, I um, was in LA and I um, met up with Greedo and we did that verse. He did the verse on it. I just had recorded it. Then he came and like right as soon as, soon as I finished the hook, hopped on it. And then we hopped on it. Um, it was just like in the vault. I made a snippet for it and put it on Instagram. It was in the vault for a minute. And then um, I posted a snippet, and I guess X seen it, X commented. And he was like, yo, like, this song crazy, bro, I get on this. And then um, from there, like, I sent it to him. We were just talking every day, talking. And he called me, he was like, yeah, I'm about to get, I'm about to get on it. I'm about to have it finished, I'm about to finish it. And, um, you know, he passed, like, two days after that. So after he passed, it was like, I didn't know like how I was gonna get the verse or get, you know what he had. But I really wouldn't like care. I'm not gonna ask, you know what I'm saying? Because he just passed away. I know his family dealing with like a lot more deeper stuff than for me to be pressing about a verse, you know? It's kinda lame. So basically, um, eventually he had put out this song called Bad. And I think John John Cunningham's producer, he made the beat. And she was just so hard, I was like, who made his beat? And then John sent me them vocals. Like, I got cool with him, we was texting, and he was supposed to like give me some beats. So John gave me some beats. He said, I got this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got this, like these vocals that sent to me. And I made, or he said, go out of it. So 100 Shells, that's the next song I'm gonna be painting. That song, um, very like hard song. But like I always listen to 100 Shells like when I'm going through some shit, or if it rained outside, then I listen to that shit. And my car be my Range Rover in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I got like a little sunroof shit. Like it, it go back and the rain drops me on the top. And I'm sitting in the car, listen to that shit. Like made it through the rain. Think I had to spread my wind. That shit's so hard. So like, that's like, and it drop. The big body range. Brr, brr, brr. This is how I always drew cars, by the way. Damn. Then I put this little mirror in the front. <laughs> That's the windshield right there. And the wheels. Um, oh, kind of hard to draw a Range Rover. How you draw a Range Rover? I get the um, silver. Put the Range Rover in the front. On the street. Where the sun at? No, it's no sun outside, for real. So it's really gloomy outside, because it's raining. Then the clouds. So, smoke on overdue 100 shells. How to come together. Um, so he sent me a bunch of packs of producers. I really didn't know who Smoke was. He sent me the pack. Beat hard. So I opened the pack, listened to the whole pack, and that, that beat was just the one. Like that day I was on a whole different vibe, like unusual. Like the way I was, the way I record, I used to record the same way. I just did something like different that day, you know? And um I made that song. So I made the M for misunderstood, the big M that I wore, like in my cover. I did Prada Zombie. When I drew Prada Zombie, I basically drew a zombie version of my manager, Lil J. <laughs> His twin. Um, this Ready Set Go. I did. The, I did the flags for Ready Set Go. Like, you know, when the cars race, hold up. We got the drip for Gunner. We got the bitch snake for uh, King Slime. 
We got the baby goat for me. We got the groupie. We tell her, hold up. We got the Range Rover with the rain coming down, high beat, round around Atlanta. You know, listen to my listen to my songs, especially that song when that when it start raining, I gotta play Honey Shell. So, yeah. I'm Young Bass, and this is my masterpiece of my album Misunderstood. Let's do it.